What's happening people? I'm out and about again and today I'm currently in Leeds but I'm not staying here. You've seen the thumbnail and the title. We're going on an adventure, we're going on a trip and I'm going to Whitby. Now, if I tell you that it's just cost me £4 on the train from Huddersfield to Leeds, would you believe me if I say that this bus from Leeds all the way to Whitby, 66 miles, is costing me only £2. Two quid, so it's cost me twice as much to get from Huddersfield to, to Leeds as it is going to cost me. Why are trains so expensive? Absolutely ridiculous. Right, so like I say, this is a bus, but I did look at trains to Whitby today from Huddersfield, and it would take three hours, three changes, 55 quid. We have to go from somewhere, somewhere, you end up in Middlesbrough, and you've got to get back from Middlesbrough down to Whitby. So... I thought, oh, and then I saw this, the coastliner, £2. Maximum bus fare is £2 anywhere. So that's what I'm going to do. I think it's the 840 or the 843. goes through York and Scarborough. So we'll, we'll take you along for the journey and we'll go, to, uh, we'll go to Whitby. But first I need something to eat because, like I say, it's a three-hour journey, which is the same as the train, by the way. But we don't have to change. I'm just going to get a nice, comfortable seat, hopefully. Sit on the, on the bus for three hours. Crack my laptop out, edit a video, and then, uh, yeah, we'll be cooking on gas, as they say. But I need to find, like, a, a Tesco's or a Sainsbury's or something like that, get myself a meal deal for the journey. And then we'll take in the sights together. Right, I'm in Leeds, like I say, so I'm heading down towards the bus station by the Kirkgate Market, uh, get something to eat for the train, uh, for the bus train. And, uh, yeah, we'll take you take you along for the journey. So come on, let's let's crack on. Absolutely loads of lovely looking food in there, but I don't know if I can, I've got to buy a ticket for this um, this coastliner or I can just pay cash on the bus. So I don't want to push it too fine and I wanted something while I was on the bus really. We're at the bus station now, hopefully there's got a shop in here that I can, uh, that I can get something. But we'll see, here we are, Leeds City Bus Station. National Express here as well. Right, let's get in here and find out what the crack is when it comes to the the, uh, the coastliner all the way to Whitby for two pound. Okay, so, as luck would have it, they've got a Greg's in this bus station, right next to the Coastliner um, bus stop. So, I'm going to get myself a, a Greg's, it'll probably be cold, but at least I could eat it on the, uh, on the bus. And there's a, like a news agency here as well, Arden News. So I'll go get myself a cold drink, a Greg's, and we'll just eat that on the way. So I'll see you when the bus comes in about 15 minutes. Now there is a little sign on that. Coastliner sign there saying scan me to buy your ticket before you go so I'm not sure you can pay cash I'll just buy it online it don't matter Thank <laughs> you. 
Um, this is, I just bought it online, I don't know if it's done. Can you pick up on this? No, no. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, so I've had a bit of a result. Got a table. Didn't know, didn't know they had tables on this bus. So at least I can do some work. You guys can enjoy the scenery. Hello, you're right. Yeah. Have you ever been on this bus before? Yes. Have you? Which side? I'm best at this side or that side for the views. Um, going back. Um, where are you going to? Actually? I'm all the way to Whitby. Oh right, right. Um, if you want to see the railway, it's on your side. Right. Okay. The other okay. side's So we're just in York Centre now, and uh, this is probably the, the most scenic part. <laughs> oh, 
hopefully it gets better from here on in.
just if someone's if yeah. Some, yeah, if someone yeah. yeah. some gets up and they stood up and no jerks forward, it's just Well, we're just in Moulton bus station and there's been an issue with our bus, so we've had to change. So we're getting on a different bus. Always an adventure. There's always an issue when I'm about. <laughs> on to the next bus then. What do you think so far? Scenic? It's certainly um, adventureful. Is that a word? It's certainly an adventure. Having to change buses is something that would only happen on the day that I'm recording. I'm not sure what the issue was with the other bus, but it is what it is. We're off to Whitby. Don't forget, hug into our free Wi Fi. Stay connected for your journey with us today. Free Wi-Fi, although there's a data restriction on that, I did notice, because um, I tried to watch EastEnders and it cut me off. But we're just leaving Moulton here. That does get quite annoying. It tells you every single stop, <laughs> and it stops at lots and lots of stops. It's not like it's just stopping in Moulton, Scarborough, it's got the stops at like a normal bus. Tells you every single time. But it's a nice place, Moulton. I've never been to Moulton before. Probably somewhere where I should be bringing Mrs. Dino. It looks like a nice little nice little village, nice little town. Um, York was absolutely heaving. I think it was York Chocolate Festival, like a market. Do I haven't brought Mrs. Dino? I should have had me getting off. Right then, we'll keep going. Um, next stop is Scarborough. A new Transdev Go is here. Make sure you download the new app before the end of March. More info at transdevbus.co.uk. Okay, so actually, I made a mistake. Just looking at this up here, I'll show you guys now, I'll put it on screen. When it gets to um, Malton, it actually splits off two different buses. One goes to Scarborough, one goes to Whitby. I actually thought that this went to Scarborough and then went on the coast to Whitby. So we will be going to like Eden Camp, Flamingo Land, Pickering, Thornton, Liddale, Gorth Land, and then Whitby. Um, yeah, so we won't be teeing Scarborough. We're proper in the out in the sticks now, so we've just gone past Eden Camp. So we'll be looking at coming up to Flamingo Land shortly. Yeah, it's all fields now. So this is probably what they mean when they say the most scenic bus route in Britain. It says Britain's most scenic bus route. Two quid this cost. That's all. Two quid. 20 minutes on train from Huddersfield to Leeds today, cost four. Anyway, get back to the scenery. Oh, in fact, before you do, let me just talk to you about my uh, Greg's order. The Cajun rice bowl thing. Oh, beautiful. The um, innocent juice drink was very, very sweet. And also, I got something that might be a bit controversial in the comments. So, wow, look at that sun. So, I'll, uh, we'll have a little look at this out of this window again, and then I'll get into my final item. And all three of them cost £4.95 total. Guess in the comments now what you think it is. It's a controversial item. You, you guys are going to be up in arms about it.
I got myself a vegan sausage roll. Now, like I say, I've lost my table, so I'm gonna have to do this one-handed. Everybody raves about the vegan sausage rolls, saying that they're better than the normal sausage rolls. Looks a bit anemic to me. I'm gonna break it in half. Okay. Smells like a sausage roll. Doesn't have the same texture as a sausage roll. It tastes very similar, but different texture. I'm not vegan, so I don't. I don't need to. What I don't understand about vegan food, really, there is some vegans uh, who get in the comments all the time. For me, why are you trying to make vegan food taste like sausage? You know when you have like vegetarian vegan bacon and stuff like not bacon? Why are you trying to make it taste like bacon? I don't understand it. Just have your veggies, vegetables and whatever you want, but I don't know why the why I'm confused as me. Anyway, I'll eat it. It's not it's not the best, but it's not the worst. Is it better than a sausage roll? No. Just as messy as a real sausage roll. Okay, so we are about 20 miles outside Whitby. Oh, my light's not doing me any favours, is it? We're about 20 miles outside Whitby, um, about 45 minutes left of the journey. It's getting very 
well, it's the, like the North Yorkshire Moors, is that what it's called? North Yorkshire Moors we're going through now, so it's very open and fields and, how shall I put it, so the window open down there and we've got that um, aroma. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. If you're still watching, thank you. I know it's not for everyone, this. Not a lot of actual food like reviews in it, but something different. And you know what's coming because I'm going to Whitby. So I'll be doing some food there. So get in the comments and let me know where to go in Whitby for food. All these farms here. Look at this. This is an amazing photo opportunity. The Hall of Hawkeye is a stunning sight. Although it's 120 metres deep and three quarters of a mile across. Let's explain why not bring your walking shoes and get on the bus here and experience the five mile circuit of walking around the Hall of Hawkeye. Typical Dino fashion, we're just getting to Whitby and it's foggy as all, it's cold. I've even put my hat on. I don't know if it's because we're still on the moors, but look how foggy it is outside. It looks clear there, doesn't it, for a window? But let me tell you, it is foggy. Look at this. I hope I haven't come all the way to Whitby to film some things and then get bad weather. It's supposed to be not too bad. I'm hoping that it's better in natural Whitby. This is still the moors. Did you see that fire? Oh, I got my phone out and took some close-ups of it. Have a look at this.
I wonder if he's doing that on purpose. Cause it doesn't look like a controlled blaze, is that? Right, okay. Enjoy the last five minutes. And I'll see you in Whitby. Entering Gothland. Can't be that. If you look to your right, you'll see Gothland Railway Station on the North Yorkshire Moors Railway. Quite often, they're all. Put cameras out and take some pictures. If you fancy visiting the railway, you can jump off at our next stop. It's just a short walk back to the station. And did you know that Gothland Railway Station appears in the Harry Potter film? Okay, okay, so I've arrived here in Whitby. Thank you for joining me on that journey. Very scenic, the most scenic bus route in Britain. Two quid, that were a bargain. Better than 55 quid. Here I am, stood outside the train station. 55 quid, took the same amount of time as well, so. And I got to see a lot, including a forest fire, a bush fire, whatever you want to call it. So, I'm going to go explore Whitby now because I don't think I've ever been here before. Look at this. It looks unbelievable that hopefully the weather stays uh, nice for me. But I've got to find my hotel now. You will not believe where I'm staying. Oh, it's nice. Make sure you've subscribed to the channel. That's coming up. We're going to be in Whitby now for a day or two. Maybe pop over to Robin Hood's Bay, Scarborough, all down this coast. And we'll, uh, do you know what I can smell? Fish and chips. <laughs> There'll be one or two of them coming up. Right, thanks for watching this, and I'm off to find my uh, my hotel. I'll see you tomorrow, where I'll be here in Whitby. Take care.